Hello everybody and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have or make custom thumbnails for your blueprints in Space Engineers. So when you upload them to the workshop you have a nice looking thumbnail here. Let me just find one. Like this. Like you can get a text on it, picture of the ship, logo. Um, these are mine for instance, the Javelin, the Destiny, the Vulcan. Um, and if you don't do that, you just have you just sort of have a blueprint that looks like this, which isn't very appealing for the eyes. So I'll show you how we are going to go about doing that today. First things first, you need a ship uh, that you want to blueprint. This is the Arbiter. This is my uh, mining ship, and we're just going to publish it today. Um, so yeah, so once you've built the ship. Um, you don't have to get into it. <laughs> um, basically, you want to do, 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 turn on my hood, look at it, and just press Control B. What this does is this creates a blueprint for you in the blueprint library, and as you can see, it takes the the, the thumbnail as however you were looking at the ship at the time. What I'm going to do real quick is just go into the info and just change this to the uh, Okay, change, always change the info on your ship so the grid has a name. Then to access the blueprint menu again you just press F10. Find your ship and rename it. So I'm just going to call it the LKF. Fantastic. And then that should come up. Here it is. My thumbnail images aren't loading. It's very annoying. There we go. So here we have it. Now, to actually change the thumbnail, we have to dive into the settings in the, the game. But first, we want to take a picture for the ship. So, want to turn the lights on, get the flashy lights going. And what I'm going to do is try and get a nice picture here of it mining something, I think. Maybe like. Um, Maybe like some ice. So we just turn the drills on. Press F8 to get the spectator camera. Okay, that's fantastic, right. So there are two ways you can do this. If you have an NVIDIA card, you can follow the steps um, that I'm gonna do now. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, then you just skip forward a bit and I'll show you how to do it normally. So, um, either way, anyway, go to your options, graphics, and turn your FOV down to 40. This just gives it a bit more of a cinematic look, if you know what I mean. Um, it just zooms it in a bit. Press tab until your, your hood goes away, obviously, we don't want that. Uh, get into position. And then press Alt and F2 at the same time. And then this, this brings up your um, NVIDIA Ansel. So I know that the drills are going a bit crazy now, but it won't look like that in the still shot, obviously. So we can add filters here. We've got a wide variety. Um, I like to add a vignette, about 20%. That just darkens the edges of the screen, so you get like a more focused view. Um, we get the colour. Um, I turn the vibrance up, as you can see, it just brings out the colours a little bit more. You can change the temperature, um, it's space, so I like to have it a bit colder. And then there are lots of different things you can do, you can mess around with it, you know, you can sharpen it if you really want to. Um, as you can see, it makes the, the image look a lot more crisp, or you can have it nice and soft. Um, uh, what else? Da, 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 da. You can do depth of field, although mine's currently not working where you can just sort of blur things in the background. Um, I don't know why mine's not working, but it used to. 
that's a really really nice looking one actually and then just click snap and then that will save the photo to wherever you have set your library to save videos to the screenshot if you don't have an nvidia card come in and then just press f12 and then boom you take a screenshot there might be some ways to do it on an amd um amd cards but uh if there are i'm not sure of them i don't have any experience with amd cards obviously so now we are done in the game so you're actually going to want to quit the game and we're going to delve into our files so i found the area where i have my space engineers saved and here is the image as you can see um this is the screenshot we took if you did the steam version go to your library on space engineers and then just right click manage screenshots and then show on disk and if you just make it a bit bigger obviously it's this one here and then you can work with that now we want to edit this with photoshop so open up photoshop we want to create a new image um, i recommend 720p so that the image isn't too large but it really doesn't matter you can do whatever you want we're going to use the Ansel screenshot so drag it into Photoshop or if you don't have Photoshop you can use any other editing software I mean it's, no, it's really up to you and then I'm just going to show you how I make mine so we want text and I'm just going to put Arbiter and we're just going to make it quite big so that you can because obviously it's going to be quite a small thumbnail image and put it put it at the top then I like to add a bit of a depth of field effect on the text so it's easier to read so we're going to do new layer hold down control click them both right click then click merge layers double click the little preview and then we uh, bring up the options Go to drop shadow and then just click it and then you can uh, mess around with the the uh, the drop shadow here so i'm going to do a bit of a softer one like that doesn't really matter too much but you know that's just something that you can uh, think about a little bit then click file export quick export as png and uh, we're just going to chuck it on the desktop for now this is important call it thumb exactly like that no capitals and make sure it's a png it has to be a png so now that we have it on the desktop go to your search and then type in percent app data percentage um, and then that will bring up your app data file and then we want to look for space engineers double click it go into blueprints local and then find your um, chip so the arbiter here we have it and you'll see a thumb PNG image. This is the uh, this is obviously the image we took in in game that it gave us. Delete that and then drag your thumb in like that. Close that and then we boot up Space Engineers. Okay, so we're back in the world now. If you press F10 and bring up your um, blueprint menu, find your ship. Here it is. As you can see, we have the new thumbnail, and then you can go on to publish your ship or uh, whatever you want um, but there it is there's the thumbnail for your your ship so yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial if you've got any questions or problems leave them in the comments and i'll try and help you as best i can and yeah take care everybody